Yo, what's good guys, it's Radiate, newest member of Hologram. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a hard beat from scratch for a little Uzi Vert like Brandon Finessin. Before we get into it, I just wanna plug the Hologram Discord real quick. Gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff in there pretty soon. If you want somewhere where you can just hang out and network with people, it's gonna be a real cool place to just come and make beats together. I'm gonna be in there a ton and I hope to see you guys there. Link is gonna be in the pinned comment and top of the description. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first I'm gonna break down the melody and the good part about these beats is that the melody is very, very simple. The first layer of the melody is this two chord progression we have with next to strings. So a big key to these beats is having a very simple bass line. It's literally just two notes F to C sharp. After that, all I did was layer that same pattern with a few more sounds. Don't worry, I'll go into the effects I used on those patterns in just a second. But after that, all we got is this pluck from Serum. Then we got my favorite part of the melody, this brass from Nexus. And then the last part of this loop is just this accent lead from Serum. And then that's it for the melody. Altogether, it sounds like this. As you can tell, a big part of this is repetition. As cool as those crazy hyper pop melodies sound with leads going everywhere, those aren't going to be placed. This is the stuff that actually is going to be placed. So just focus on making a few patterns, a few counter melodies, and really just keeping it simple. Okay, so I've rendered out the loop and now we can get into the drums. Again, if you want to make stuff that's actually going to be placed, repetition and simplicity is key. So first we have this 808 pattern that just follows the root notes of the melody. And then we have this very simple hi-hat pattern. It's pretty much just a two-step. All right, and after that, we have some bouncy claps. If you've been listening to Brandon Finesse's live recently, he has these type of claps in pretty much every beat. Then we just got a basic snare. Then a few open hats. And then a snare roll at the end. And that's pretty much it. No crazy 808 slides or crazy hi-hat patterns. Pretty bare, pretty simple. And this is what it sounds like with the melody. Alright, so now I'm going to touch on mixing and effects. Nothing really crazy going on, I'm just going to touch on a few plugins I like to use. Okay, so this is a reverb plugin I like to use a lot, it's called Spaced Out. It's crazy reverb, has a built-in delay with it, and it really just helps different instruments sit well in the mix. Alright, so the next plugin we got is Shaper Box, and this is Sauce. There's a ton of different presets in here, and I use this on that ARP from Nexus, and it just adds that slide down effect. So I also use Shaper Box on this second layer of Nexus strings, and just listen to what this sounds like with and without. And that's all it really is for the effects I used on the melodies. Now I'm going to go into a little bit of drum mixing. So for mixing your drums, all you really need to do is level your sounds. There's no need to add any crazy effect plugins to any of your drums because once you start overcomplicating the beat, it's going to start throwing off the artist. Remember, we're focusing on stuff that's actually going to get placed here. Maybe in the future I'll make a video on how to do complicated drums, but for this tutorial, I'm really just focusing on stuff that's going to get placed, not beat battle beats. Literally the only thing I have on any of the mixer channels is just a slight EQ on one of the claps, and then on the master I just have a soft clip and another little EQ. Alright, so that's it for the mixing and onto the arrangement. I keep it pretty standard. I have an 8 bar intro, 16 bar hook, and then a 24 bar verse, and I really just copy that over until I have three hooks and two verses. And then at the end, I also have a 16 bar outro, uh, and I automated the master volume and just had it fade out. Something I have been doing for arrangement is for the first part of the hook, I like to bring in a lot of layers, and then for the second half, I like to take out a bunch of layers, and I think it makes for a cool transition sound. in this beat I had all the drums playing throughout the entire hook uh, you can take out some of the drums in the first half of the hook it really just depends 
And then for the verses, I like having just the 808, the hi-hat, and the clap playing. And then for the second part of the hook, I just bring in all the drums. And then for this bridge right here before the next hook, for the first four bars, I just take out all the drum sounds and then add them back in the next four bars. So that's going to be it for the tutorial. Don't forget to join the Hologram Discord. Link is going to be in the description in the first comment. Follow me on Instagram, at ProudByRadiate. It's going to be in the description as well. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Going to be doing a lot more tutorials on here. You guys are going to see me a lot more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Peace.